Hey, I'm Simon, and if you want to learn how to build an e-commerce app in about 10 minutes, then this video is for you. It's actually so simple to do and it's very affordable, and anyone can do this. You also might be thinking, hey, I don't know how to code, how am I possibly going to be able to do that? But as it turns out, with Storm, you simply have to explain what you want in natural language. So basically, you're just chatting with the AI and it will write all the code for you. So with that being said, let's get into the video. I've had a few questions in the comments that we'll base this video off of. So question number one being, can you build an e-commerce app connecting buyers and sellers? So that's what we're gonna do. And second, do you actually own what Storm creates for you? And we'll get into that a little bit later. So before we start building the app, let's just plan out what features we want and how we want it to look. We want to name the app Leon Essentials because that's what's requested. And I'm getting like a skincare supplements vibe from the name. So let's just go with that for our products. To create something that fits the vibe, let's not overdo the visuals and just keep it light. So we'll do a sophisticated but minimal aesthetic with neutral colors. We want a clean and luxurious typography. And let's include some mock data for some products. So we can see kind of how it look. And then we want a home page. We want a product listings page. We want a product details page, a shopping cart, a checkout, a confirmation page, and an admin dashboard. All right, now that we have everything planned out, let's just go to storm.dev and type in our prompt. Just write a comment if you want me to send you the full prompt that I'm using. So I'll just paste everything in here and then we'll start creating the app. And once that's done, Storm will figure out everything behind the scenes. It'll create the front end, back end, database, and it'll usually take like five minutes for it to complete. So while we wait for that, let's just answer the second question. So do you actually own the code that Storm creates for you? And yes, you own everything you can modify you can sell, you can do whatever you want with your app basically. So this is actually pretty cool. While Storm is building, you can look through the seven key stages to see what they actually are and how it kind of figures all this out. And on the right side, you can kind of see what pages it's building. So we can see that it's building a lot of pages, uh, exactly what we wanted. So that's kind of cool. All right, so Storm is done. So let's take a look. Uh, it got the name right, Leon Essentials. We have an earthy design on the homepage. I think it's kind of cool because it matches with the image. That's good. So we have a featured product selection and all of these images are animated as well. That's nice. We have customer testimonials. We have a footer. So let's go to the product listing page. So here we have again our products. We have filters, categories, we have ratings and they're still animated. Uh, so instead of clicking out here on the product details page, let's try and see if the if we can navigate to that by clicking on a product. So we'll click that, see what happens. And that works as well. So here's the description, the ingredients, the ratings for this product. Let's go back and test out the filters. So let's click this. Okay, so right now the products are not being put into the filters, but that's all right. We can fix that. We'll just prompt it. So let's move on to the shopping cart. So we already have some products in our shopping cart. Let's see if the deduction work and it actually does and it also calculates the price out here that's kind of nice let's move on to the checkout page okay so the checkout page we have our summary shipping information billing information however this price doesn't align with the others but we can fix that. So we'll get to that in a minute. Let's move on. Confirmation page. So saying thank you for your order. Unable to load order details. I guess this is because we don't actually have an order. So this is just a preview of this page. And then we have our admin dashboard. So here we can see all our products. We can see our orders. We don't have any orders, so that makes sense. Let's try and add a product to see if that works. So we'll just say ASD, ASD, price one, ingredients, ASD, HTTPS, image.com. Just put something and let's try and put it into a category to see if it actually works or not like this. So we'll say ASD is a skincare product, save product. And it actually works. I mean, at least it saved the product. So let's go to the product listing page and let's look in the skincare category. So that actually also works. So it's not that the filters don't work, but the products are probably not being put into the filter right now. So let's just write a prompt and see if we can fix it. So give the products on the product listing page the right text so they all show up in the right category using the filter and we'll send this and see what happens all right so we're back 
it ran through the whole build. And now we can see that the products are actually in the filters. So it was that easy. We just had to write this prompt and then it did it by itself. That's why I'm saying that anyone can do this. You don't need any technical expertise. You don't need to know how to code. You basically just need to chat with Storm and it'll understand what you want and it'll do it for you automatically. So now when we fix that, we had some other things that we wanted to change, but let's just not do that right now because it's going to be the same thing. We're just going to prompt it and it's going to fix it. Uh, the most important thing is that you've seen it and you've seen how easy it is. So let's just kind of go through the, the UI of Storm and what you can do here. So on the top left corner, we can go into dev mode and here we can kind of see the code. We can see everything that's in here. We can see the images. We can see the backend routes. We can see the front end. We can see the front end for the cards. We can see everything in here. So that's pretty cool. So if you do have some technical expertise and you want to build on this, you can do that. You can just go into the code and write whatever code you want and then update it and then you're good to go. So going out of the code, let's see what else we got. We got a specs page describing the product title, product description. Obviously we have the design page. That's where we can see the previews. Moving on, we, we can go into edit mode. So this is where you'll be going if you want to change some text, if you want to say mindful living starts now and you can change the images. You do that simply by clicking the image and then uploading your own. So that's really easy. You can do it under products as well. And you can do it with icons as well. Like we can change the icon of the card if we want. Let's go out of this. We can preview to see what it looks like in full view. So this is how it look when it's published. So we can see it in full view. And we can also see if we drag this bar actually that is fully responsive. So this app will actually look good on mobile, tablets, PCs, laptops. So now all there is to do is either download the app or publish the app. So if you hit publish, you get the option to publish it with or without placeholder content. So the placeholder content is all the mock data that's in there. That's the products, that's the images. So if you just want to publish it as is and then change it later on, you can do that. And if you want to kind of empty it out so you have a clean slate, you just do it without placeholder images. So once you hit publish here, you'll get like a generated URL that you can use. And you'll also have the option to add a custom domain. A custom domain, that means your own custom URL that you've bought from a provider like GoDaddy or, or something else, which you probably want, so it's easier for people to find your app. I mean, if you've just built an app for you and your friends, then you could just share the URL that you're given, and then that's also fine. So that wraps it up. Thanks for hanging out. So go to storm.dev, build your product. It's really easy, it's really affordable. And you actually get one build for free. Like you can write a prompt, you can make some edits and you can publish your first app without paying a dime. And after that, it's $9.95 for a subscription that'll allow you to host up to two deployments. So that means that you can have two apps running. You can have an app and a landing page. You have a Spark plan of $20 that allows you to have six deployments. So as you can see, it's really cheap for all of this. If you have some more ideas for me to build, just write it in the comments and I'll take a look at it and build it in a future video. Don't forget to subscribe. It helps me out a ton and I'll see you in the next one.